Hey, what's up? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be taking a look at the AGM Pad T2, which is going to feature um, some really solid features that I'm going to talk about in this video. But make sure you stay locked in to the end of the video. If you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So let's go ahead and take a look at this tablet right here. This is the AGM Pad T2. T2 500 nits brightness on this device is going to also offer 11 inches full HD plus display 256 gigabytes on here as well as the uh, MediaTek G the Helio G91 processor which is actually pretty cool because it's upgraded from the G90 so this is going to be pretty solid it's also going to give you Android 14 and it's going to be at the price point of 179 so um, make sure you guys stay locked in. I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what comes inside the box. Right here is the actual tablet, nothing on the back. But on the side, this is where we actually do get our specs. So I actually want to read those off to you. 8 megapixel, 8 megapixel front camera, 13 megapixel main camera. It supports dual nano SIM as well as a 10.95 full HD plus 1200 by 1920 pixels on here. It's also going to give you type C 2.0 with Bluetooth 5.0. Um, as far as the weight, it says right here, 542 grams. You also get 2G, 3G and 4G LTE support on here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what comes inside of the box. I'm going to go ahead and cut this open real quick. All right, so I got that open. Let me go ahead and just peel this up. All right, I'm going to get this out real quick. Let's just show you guys what is going to be featured on here. So let me um, cut this tape right here. All right, cool. So you get the little hologram right there, AGM. Um, shout out to AGM because they did actually send this out. So I'm going to check it out with you guys. But this is going to offer some premium features. I definitely want to um, go ahead and take a look at it. Right here, you can see that we do have this in the sleeve. I'm going to put this off to the side real quick. As far as what comes inside the box, you are getting a piece of cardboard on the top. Let's just put this off to the side. A tempered glass screen protector is going to be available as well. Let's put that off to the side. You get your SIM tray remover tool. Obviously, this is going to be able to support LTE with five with 4G, not 5G. But you get your stickers right here, which I really do like because you can put these on like a wallet or a laptop or, you know, maybe your computer monitor. So some really cool um, stickers right here from AGM. And as far as what comes in here, you're also getting the quick start guide as well. So you can read through this um, when you actually pick yours up. Also do get an online warranty support with this. So it's going to give you some warranty as well. So as far as the accessories, you do get a charge in brick, which comes inside the box. So that's actually really cool. This also does have 18 watts fast charge in, which is awesome. And then you also do get the cable in here as well. So that's pretty much everything that will come featured in here. Let's take this out of the plastic. So this right here is going to be very lightweight. It's about 542 grams of weight. I'm going to take off, take this out of the plastic material that it comes in. And it does feel pretty lightweight and slim. You can see this is the materials. It's got the um, space gray color. As far as the camera, it's going to offer you that 13 megapixel main camera as well as the 2 megapixel macro. And then it's going to also offer you, an, uh, I think it's like an 8 megapixel selfie camera. So you can see right here. Let's go ahead and check it out right now. And so I'm going to power it on. The volume rocker is actually at the top. And then you have your, um, actually, you know, your power button at the top with your volume rockers below. And this actually feels really good. 
inside the hand. So it says AGM powered by Android right here. And you can see we, we have a type C um, cable on the bottom for charging as well as our SIM remover slot right here with the TF card. It's also going to give you your access to your SD card and your, not your SD card, but your, your SIM card. And then on the other side, you're going to actually have, um, you know, this little port right here. There's a little, like a little dot right there. I'm pretty sure that's like maybe a microphone for your, your speaker right here at the top. And then you also have another speaker at the bottom. So it does say hi there. So let's go ahead and hit start. And it does say you can connect your mobile SIM. So this is basically just like a smartphone. The camera is right here in the center. So you have your front facing camera on this device. It's going to ask us to pair it up to our Wi-Fi as well, which is um, going to be available. So let's go ahead and do that right now. But you are getting four gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of internal storage and four gigabytes of additional storage when it comes to the virtual RAM. So you're going to get eight altogether. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my password right here for my Wi-Fi. No, no haptics on the keyboard. So, you know, that was pretty straightforward. And now I'm actually going straight into the tablet. It says getting your tablet ready. And this may take a few minutes. So let's go over some more of the features. This does have a 60 Hertz display, 450 nits. Um, minimum brightness, but it's going to have 500 nits peak brightness. Um, and, you know, that's going to be pretty decent. And so you are, you know, getting that 13 megapixel main camera, two megapixel um, secondary camera, which is a macro camera. And then you're getting an eight megapixel camera on the front, which is actually pretty cool. It does support a gyroscope, geomagnetic sensor, as well as a gravity sensor. It's also going to support an ambient sensor, whole sensor and a whole switch. So yeah, um, a lot of cool features. OTG support is going to be available on here as well. And here, let me see if there's a headphone jack. So there's, um, let me see, no headphone jack on here, surprisingly. So this one doesn't offer the headphone jack, but I'm just waiting for this to start. It says, do you want to copy your apps? I'm going to select no. And um, there is a single mic on this, this device right here. So it doesn't support Wi-Fi 6, but it will support, um, you know, GPS, GLONASS, and BIDIO, or BIDDAO. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Also, Gilelio. It does support FM with headphones as well. So let's go ahead and skip this right here where you can sign into your Google. I'm just going to skip this part because it does take a little bit of time to do that. And now you're going to basically get all your Google services where you can accept the terms and conditions. A pin for the device. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up right now. So you can go ahead and enter that. Then you would have to confirm it. And then it says it's going to actually get my um, tablet ready after I did that. So now this is what the display looks like on the tablet. So starting off with the display, like I said, it's going to be um, you, you do get 18 watts fast charging on this device. As far as the display, it's going to be pretty solid. It's going to give you 1080 um, by 1920. And then uh, let's go ahead into the brightness. The brightness is all the way up right now on this device. You do get your dark theme mode right here. Focus mode, QR scanner, quick share. Let's go into some more features on here. So it does give you active apps. Uh, so you can actually see that as well. So this is the brightness right here. And then uh, let's go ahead and go to edit. Let's see what other settings we have right here. So we do have dynamic. Let's go ahead and add that in. Um, device controls, mic access. I like how they add this plus sign because now you can just click that. So you don't have to drag it anymore. It's way more convenient. This device does have Dolby Atmos. So let's go ahead and add that. That's actually updated. So the T1 didn't actually have Dolby Atmos. So that's pretty cool. And then you also do get color correction, color inversion, uh, storage, font size, uh, uh, and bedtime mode. And then you also do get live caption. So we're going to add all those additional features in here. And then let's go ahead and go back out of here. And 
see what the drop down looks like. So inside of the drop down, you do have your Wi-Fi at the top, Bluetooth on the off to the right, auto rotate flashlight is going to be available. Airplane mode, do not disturb battery saver, night light and hotspot as well as data saver, screen recording, alarm, you know, dark mode. Um, so you can see on the camera, you know, this is what the colors are going to look like. When I'm looking at the colors on the display, it looks like a blue color, but through the camera, it looks purple. So I just, you know, kind of want to mention that. So yeah, let's go back, go ahead into settings and take a look at some of the settings that are going to be available in here. But some of the key highlights, 88,000 milliamp per hour battery, Android 14, and you're also going to get a G91 processing chip, which is going to be pretty cool. So in Wi-Fi settings, you have that, you have your mobile um, options right here. So you can use this just like a smartphone too. So you can connect your SIM in here. You have your VPN settings, hotspot, data saver, airplane mode. So this is gonna be ready to go with your SIM card. So you can use this just like a cell phone. You also do have your connected devices. So this should give you all your options like Android Auto and Quick Share and printing and screen pass as well so you do have your you know uh, display options right here this is going to give you lock screen settings right that right here so you have a bunch of different features to choose from here and the lock screen settings i'll let you take a look at that for a second now we're going to go into um you know you know you get your screen timeout your dark theme right here where you could set a timer for that you also do have your options so you can set up a font size, display size, bold text, or high contrast text. So it gives you that as well as eye comfort modes on here too. And natural colors, or you could choose between a bunch of other features like boosted, saturated, or adaptive. So those that's kind of cool how they give you all of those features and then you could just play around with it. So let's get out of here real quick. Desktop settings, so you do get the um, home screen with the app drawer or no app drawer. So if you could choose between that, the grid five by five six by six everything is here as well and then you have your pull down so you can show your notification or change it to do nothing or open search and then you know that's um the next setting it down is going to be the wallpaper and personalization so you get themes on here you get a ton of themes so you get about nine themes to choose from as well as a bunch of wallpapers you get two of them to choose from then it has live wallpapers, so you can just download that from the Play Store when it becomes, when you do decide you want to get that, you can download it from the Play Store. So let's go back real quick. You do have some lock screen options here available as well. Um, and then basically you can change icons, so you can change your icon shapes, icon and name, this, name size and icons uh, settings. So make that bigger the name you can make that bigger as well just hit okay and you can save that and you also have some fonts that you can you know I, I did jump into that so yeah um i'm surprised that they only have like two wallpapers on here but yeah um we'll play around with this in a little bit more detail and yeah let's take a look at some of the features when it comes to you know the uh, notifications so you have some options right here where you can turn on do not disturb flash notifications uh enhanced notifications bubbles so you can uh conversations you can get into that conversation mode as far as the i, I really like that this device does have though be at most you have your enhanced sound so you can have bass loudness as well best loudness so you do have that available to optimize it default apps cloud media app and some more stuff here. You also have your memory fusion, so you will be able to add four gigabytes extra. So right now it is giving us that four gigabytes extra right out of the box. So it's eight altogether, four of uh, memory and four more of virtual. And then the battery right here, you can see some of the settings. So let's go right here into our, you know, you can see it's gonna give you complete detail of that. And you have your one touch battery saver option intelligent um assistant right here so you have all of your shortcuts you have quickly open camera call uh, recording um automatic call recording so call recording this is cool because you can actually uh, after this feature is enabled you can actually record all your phone calls 
And so this device has 256 gigabytes of internal um, mem storage. So it's going to be able to store all of that um, when you're all your conversations, three finger screenshot side. Um, this th does have the sidebar. So you have that shortcut so you can get to your floating windows and stuff and then app lock. Let's just turn that on because it's going to ask you to set up a password. So we'll skip that there is speed. And then you have um, device unlock. So you do have facial recognition on here as well as a pattern or a, a password. So you have that for security, which is really good for banking apps. So yeah, um, this device is actually packed with a lot of features right now. This is actually crazy. It has like features that a smartphone would normally have, but this is gonna be a way bigger display to look at. And um, yeah, so let's keep going. Let's keep going right now. Right now it's saying that um, it won't have NFC. So I, wait, let me just make sure because maybe it will. Mic access. Yeah, it won't have NFC. I'm actually surprised that it has this um, Dolby Atmos feature, which is going to be pretty cool. So you can do dynamic movie music or voice. Let's keep going through some of the features right here. So you get storage. Uh, you can see your RAM, so it's going to let you optimize that. You also have your internal storage right here. So you have um, 18 used, 7% used, battery, intelligent assistance, Dura speed, device unlock. So you get face unlock and the um, pattern. You also have your security options right here, safety and emergency. And then you also do have accessibility right here so you can play around with some of these features haptics are on right now and it will give you those haptics when you are touching the display audio description flash notifications location and um, that's pretty much it so let's go into our system and you have your languages keyboard date gestures right here for three finger you have your navigation options right here and then you have your power button shortcuts. So you can change that to a Google Assistant or your power button. We'll keep that just like it is. And then here are the settings. So as far as the software that this device is running on, you can see it right here. It's basically gonna have VOS official version 2.0, and it's gonna be giving you all of your um, information right here. So this is actually pretty solid. I like how they did that. And then the battery size is 78. 50, which is basically 8,000 8, milliamp per hours. But let me know what you guys think about this overall unboxing experience. I want to actually open up a video on this device so I could kind of show you the sound quality. I'm going to open up YouTube real quick so we can take a look at that. But it does have 85% right out of the box. Let's go ahead and, you know, um, activate that. Let's just type Nix because my Nix did get a blowout win today. So I kind of want to take a look at some of the highlights. And yeah, my boy Carl Anthony Towns showed out with the Heat game the other day. Let's listen to the volume and see how that is going to sound. I'm going to turn it down just before this commercial. But the quality of the display actually looks really good. So you can see this is what it's going to look like right here. Let's see how far of... Um, how high of a resolution we can get so we can get 1060 which is actually perfect and let's turn this all the way up so we can hear the speakers it has 200 percent um you know um right there so you can get like that max volume so when you're listening to it it's just going to make that sound a lot better but yeah um connection issues right now let's put kind of put that down a little bit let's go down to 720 and see if that's going to actually work so yeah, um, let's choose another video just because it's having a little bit of issues. I'll go into the full game highlights right here. No issues playing that whatsoever. And now you can hear the speakers on here. So let me um, turn this down. Let me wait for the ad to stop real quick and then we'll get into this right now. So here is the video of the highlights. The 1080p on this video. It just, you know, they just came out with this. So the, 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 the tablet is extremely loud. I could barely hear my own voice while it's actually on. And this actually has a really nice feel in the hand. It has a really slim design. Let's take the sticker off from the back. Let's just take that off. 
and you can just kind of adore the space gray color. It looks really good. The camera setup looks really good because you have those two cameras right here individually. And let's go ahead and take a couple of photos. I'm going to put my boy right here and front and center, and we're going to open up the camera app right now. And we're going to uh, go ahead and, and uh, take a photo. And then a video. So let's go into the video right here. Options right here. We have 1080p. You have 720p. So it goes in between those two. And then as far as the uh, settings on the video, you have your frames. So you can choose between 30 and you actually get 60 frames per second when it comes to the video. This is actually something I like a lot. 60 or 30. Uh, 60 is going to make it look a lot more realistic. So I'm actually going to take a video with the 60 frames per second. All right. So this should give you an example of what the 60 frames per second video looks like. These cameras are impressive for a tablet. So I'm actually really impressed. You can see um, they do a pretty good, decent job of capturing detail, light and colors and stuff like that. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about so also you also get bokeh mode on here but the photo as far as the zoom you get two times zoom and then if you pinch you can get up to four times zoom so i just want to mention that you get bokeh and then when when you click more you're actually going to get qr scan a panorama time lapse watermark and your that's how you get to your macro camera so you let me take a picture with the macro camera real quick the macro camera allows you to get very close up and this is how you get all your details. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Let's kind of look at, at this a little bit and kind of examine the photo. So I took it in, in the wrong orientation, but that's actually pretty good for a two megapixel macro shot. So um, yeah, let's um, wrap this video up and I get out of here. But hopefully you guys did find this video helpful. This is a T2 from AGM Mobile. Um, it's going to have 4G support with LTE. You're also going to get 8,000 milliamp hour battery, full HD plus display. And it's going to be packing some really good features for the price. So uh, starting price at 179 and um, yeah, uh, facial ID on here. So it's going to have Android 14 with the Helio G91 processing chip, uh, four gigabytes of RAM with four gigabytes of memory extra and then 256 when it comes to the storage. And I actually think that the cameras do look pretty good on here. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you're still here, just type down below, I'm still here, so I know you're still kicking it with me. And I just remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people. And I'll hit you back. I'll check you guys later. Peace. Later, crew.